friends, welcome to another episode of Short is Better. Today's episode gonna be a bit longer than usually because I'm gonna review this model first, still the 1975 XP, and then I'm gonna modify it. I have some interesting idea, I, I hope it's interesting, and you're gonna see a little bit later. Yeah, so first of all, let's see the price on AliExpress. As you can see, the price is higher than the regular 1975 tuna, and I believe it just because of the colors of the case and the bracelet. Because everything else, dimensions and all the specs are the same except the color. And of course, different dial. We have here 47.5 millimeters case diameter, not including the crown. With the crown is gonna be about 49 millimeters. Then we have the case thickness 15 millimeters, including the glass and the bottom cover. Then we have uh, lock to lock size, interesting, it's only 44 millimeters. So as you can see, the lock size is smaller than the case diameter. What it means? Uh, it means that even though this one is 47.5 millimeters, but it looks and it feels a little bit smaller on your wrist because of the lock size. It feels more comfortable to wear this big watch. And this is huge advantage, I think, for most of people. Okay, next we got here a ceramic bezel with excellent blue, blue loom. Then we have here sapphire glass and you can notice blue AR coating, which is pretty interesting because it's gonna be absolutely perfectly suitable for the mod I'm gonna make just in a moment. Uh, then, of course, this model has 300 meters waterproof. I don't have the tool to test it, but I'm sure it's more than enough for 99.9% .9 of people. Yeah, what else? And as I mentioned before, an H35 movement without a date on the dial, without a date window. And of course, this, this, uh, this case made of stainless steel, including the, uh, the case back and the bracelet. Okay, so my idea today will be using this case, maybe keeping the same hands, but changing the dial. I've got this, this Galaxy style dial from AliExpress. Actually, I have here a few options. I have this one, then I have this one, I put the hands on it. And this one. So I have three options and I stopped on this one because I think it's the, really the coolest dial from this series. And I'm gonna use these hands, the skeleton hands with green loom. I think it's gonna look, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Okay, let's get started. This is pretty easy, easy dial swap, but I really hope that it's gonna be amazing as I imagine. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's open the case. I always use this piece of plastic. It prevents the scratches on the case back or case itself. Because sometimes, you know, it may be not easy to open and safety first, as we say, safety first. Okay, let's start the second stage. So, quick reminder, have you removed the crown? Unscrew it first, press on this point and pull it out. Sorry if I don't show some details because I made a lot of videos already and some some pretty easy and obvious parts I'm just gonna skip. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or directly in my Instagram or Facebook. I'm gonna happy gonna be happy to help you. So first we put the crown back. And now we have to remove the hands so we set them in one position. Just like this is enough. Then I'm gonna use more plastic. I find it much easier than, 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 I don't have it right now to show you, 
but there is like a more hard plastic that you put underneath the hands. This way, when I put like this, even fold it together, it prevents the dollar from scratching and also it prevents the hands from jumping out and make and make you search all around the room. You see, it's easy and it doesn't go anywhere. The dial stay, stays safe and it's it's really easier. Now, interesting, what is under underneath this dial? Is it in age 35 or 36? I didn't even test it yet. Wow! Can you believe I've got the black the black date wheel which is perfect I was hoping to get black one because I think it's gonna match the theme of the doll awesome absolutely awesome find Then I cut, I cut uh, the dots because they are a little bit too big. I'm not sure if it's even necessary, but it looks better. And if it looks better, if it looks better, then I feel better. <laughs> so I just want to feel better. Now we have kind of important moment because we have to set the dial and make it absolutely perfect. As I remember it was 8. Let's try. It looks amazing already. Oh, I love it. Okay, something like this. And let's check from the side. And yeah, you can see that the date window is perfect, centered perfect. Okay, I just check it and I'm very satisfied with the result. Everything looks perfect. And just recently I started to use super glue. Yep, you, you heard it right, super glue on the sides of the movement, just on those dial dots. So it ensures that the dial won't move anywhere when I put it in the case. And yeah, it just feels safer. Yeah, so once again, I don't recommend you this idea because usually super glue and dials don't go well together. But <laughs> if you are careful and if you know if you know what you're doing, then you're gonna be fine. So I just put a bit of glue on some um, some um, plastic box. And use the needle to take small amount just like that really really small small amount of glue you don't need to glue it all around Okay, it's done and we don't need to wait until it dries or something. You just keep keep working, keep moving and right now we're gonna set we're gonna set the hands. So go to time adjusting setting and go 24 hours. Very slowly. Done. Just look at this date window. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. So we have here two options. I could use I could use the original hands or the skeleton hands, the one I bought for this mode. Because I think hmm, it's a, it's kind of difficult. It's a difficult choice. Let's do like this. Another reason why I like I like dials from AliExpress 
is that they do not they do not get damaged they do not break easily so for example i can put these hands on the dial and i do not afraid that i will scratch it somehow what do you think i think skeleton hands look pretty interesting and i might go with this and if you put the case on the top we can see what we gonna get something or let's try original one Usually I keep the original one for tuna mods if I use still dive case because the quality of these hands is outstanding and the loom is the best you can find. And you know what? I think I think I will go original hands. Because it looks really, really good. And the colors of hands matching the colors of the loom on the dial. Yep, sorry skeleton hands, I'm gonna put you aside. And we're gonna go original hands. It was actually pretty easy decision because this set of hands looks much better than skeleton for me let me know if you like those one more by the way those skeletons are with green loom I also plan to get with the blue loom so the first hand Let's test it. Test check from the side. You can see the alignment is perfect here. Then six o'clock. Perfect. But if you look from this side, you can see that it's a little bit twisted. I have to push the right side lower to make it just like this. Perfect. Now it's easy to set on this dial the minute hand because you can see these markers on 6 and 9 so you just put our hand on 6 or 9 and then the minute hand should be perfectly on 12. Wow. I love this sound when the minute 12 when the minute hand on 12. Absolutely amazing. One suggestion, if you're gonna use still dive tuna, do not overdo with the minute hand. Because I had a few cases when I push too hard and the minute hand goes too low and then you have to remove all the hands and even change it because this hand, this hand can be worn out easy. unfortunately and the last one seconds hand this one um, usually might be not easy but we are one using still dive parts 
and two we using the same set of hands so it's easier to set it back just like that literally one touch and it sits perfectly i love it check the alignment Perfect, that's why I like to work with two dial parts. It is really, in my opinion, it's far the best option for modification. Now, basically we are done. Let's put it back in the case. I'm gonna show you the final result. I really hope it's gonna look as I imagine. Let's see. Okay guys, it's done. What do you think? I love it. Absolutely love it. I want to wear it now. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I don't know about you, but I like I like this space space these galaxies dials. They are beautiful. Just look at the hands. The hands color matches the dial colors perfectly wow just just wow and also i've changed the case back to the clean one and soon i will have a laser so i will be able to engrave here anything and i will still continue doing these galaxy molds and i will make something i uh, don't know yet what but something about the galaxy theme to match to match this style yeah beautiful again <laughs> thanks for watching if you like this mod you can check my instagram i post there uh, different videos of different mods i make most of them i don't post on youtube i post only there so check it out if you're interested and if you like this mod you can always order it from me if you want to change something or maybe you want to use another skeleton hands just let me know i can do any design you have in your mind yeah, thanks again for your support and see you in the next video. Wait, I almost forgot the best part. Take a look at this loom. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. How many times I said I love it and I'll say it more, more hundred times. Yeah, and thank you again. See you in the next episode.